contributions of black people uh, are absent from history books, are absent from curriculum, and absent from our collective narrative. Uh, so we come to fill those gaps. The exhibit which is on display uh, here at your campus is entitled A Tribute to the African American Journey. Uh, it's been viewed by about 75,000 people across the country. So history is important. It develops the character of a nation, helping people identify with a country. So you're teaching the values of that nation. It gives you a connection, a connectivity to that country. So when we talk about history, you develop an allegiance to a nation. What happens in the absence of history? People of African descent have been robbed of the knowledge of self, robbed of their religion, their language, their God, their culture. You destroy their inner essence. In fact, in our history books, we tell uh, black people your existence started in 1619 with slavery. And that your people made no significant contributions and nothing uh, whatsoever. Nothing significant to speak of. I believe that you destroy a person's inner essence almost destroy their potential for greatness. Black history. So we're talking about history. Why is history important? I personally think that there's restoration. You restore a sense of self. You restore a sense of pride. Kind of like that inner essence I said that's been removed. When, I, when, when we talk about black history, typically we reduce it to slavery and Martin Luther King. And that's black history. And we just don't talk about the, the fabric or the contributions of African Americans that's woven into the fabric of this, uh, of this nation. I believe black history is important because I think we need to heal as a nation. So when we talk about the contributions of people of African descent, people of African descent, their history is not rooted in savagery or slavery, but royalty and accomplishment. I showed a picture of Dr. King because I like that picture. But the quote from King said, either you're part, or from X, either you're part of the solution or you're part of the problem. Uh, there's a street scholar in New York by the name of the New World Warrior. He's updated that to say either you're part of the solution or you are the problem. So if we want a better world, a better place, we have to do it from the ground up. We cannot remain appallingly silent while others suffer. 